I'm going to do a video on my Ontario SP5 uh, stock sheath. This junk. Hate it. Way too long for the knife. By about two inches. It's too bulky. So we'll get that out of there. I stripped all the paint off the blade and then I blued it. I actually used, I don't know if it made a difference or not, but I mixed uh, some vinegar with a little bit of bling I had left. It turned out pretty sweet. It's covered in bear grease. Um, keep it from rusting. It looks looks much better than the, the paint. This is a newer vi version with the 1075 and it didn't have a tang stamp that was printed on there. Um, it didn't strip all the way off. You can barely read it. Um, I wish I would have kept the stamps. Um, pretty sweet. I love the Craton handle. I wasn't sure about the Craton handle. Um, I got a K-Bar with a Craton handle. Uh, it's okay. I preferred the leather. Um, that's my case. Um, that's my one I don't, I actually don't use this K-Bar either. Um, just got it for shits and gigs. But this is pretty sweet. Um, handle's comfortable. It's, it's rock solid. It's actually held in there surprise. This, Surprisingly well. Um, it's wore a little bit. This one has never been used. Um, just bought and kept. But I ended up picking up a uh, Marbles Trailmaker sheath. Um, fits this perfectly. Just it, it goes with the knife. It fits knife. I mean, absolutely perfect. It's got a liner in it. Um, so the, apparently, the SP5 is thicker than the. Um, I can see that. It's thicker than the Trail Maker, so I had to modify the liner. Um, so I had to split it. Um, split it and then form it with a heat gun. So even just a liner in there, the knife doesn't fall out. So that's a pretty sweet knife. I'm not, I don't do used videos. I mean, you know, Gideon's probably got the best uh, video out there. I just want to do a, a upgrade on, or a video on the sheath upgrade. I also ordered a, um, oh, a Buck Hoodlum sheath that I actually ordered it before this. I, that still hasn't come yet, but I got this one first. So I'm not even going to try another sheath with it. Um, well, way better than this stock sheath. There's a, uh, a week ago today, I buried my best friend of uh, 12 years, so it's an honor of Riley. Um, but yep, sweet knife. Sheath is much better. The other knives are just for a quick comparison. I mean, this thing just dwarfs, dwarfs the uh, USMC fighting knives. Um, pretty sweet, pretty happy with it. Um, made in USA, I mean, thick. You know, despite what another popular guy said, I don't think it's ugly at all. Although, although I think a swedge would have looked pretty badass onto it. But, or not a swedge, a fuller would look pretty sweet onto it. But I like it. Very impressed. I also got a, a post a pick. I found a pick online of uh, what the tang looks like under the handle. Um, so it's not rat tail. It's actually pretty good. So I'm not going to try nothing with this one because I like the handle um, after getting it. But I might pick up another one and try to do some other handle on it. I mean, it was like 40 bucks, made in USA. Um, this sheath I got off eBay for 25 bucks, I think. So, uh, and the, the trail makers now, if you try to buy a trail maker, they're like, I don't know, four, four to 600 bucks. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But I don't have a trail maker. I just happened to find the sheath. I was looking for something for a 10 inch blade, and I found a couple options. But I think this is pretty sweet goes with a knife um, you know and honestly this would be I, I'm not gonna carry this strap to my side maybe my, when I'm out fishing or something but uh, on my trip it's gonna be on the side of my pack so I don't gotta worry about it swapping my leg and I don't need to t worry about a tie out onto it but that's it